Hello, my survivors and members of the Horde, and welcome back to another exciting episode of the wonderful Wubulus Project Zomboid Banana Save File. Last we left off, we were in the middle of the city. We did a little bit of city diving, so to speak, looking for some better loot, some better food, maybe some tools of some sort, um, primarily nails, of course. It's what we've been looking for constantly for the past few days, or, yeah, a few days. And, uh... We, I think we left off in the cupcake shop. That's where the last thing we played was. And we're going to be heading, we're going to be loading up there, continuing to finish the looting of the area, and remaining kind of conscious as to what we're doing and keeping a close eye on to make sure that we don't get kind of ganked uh, by a zombie, because zombies are known to gank in this game. This is weird that this is, uh, we have some food in here. That's not where I don't think we left it there, but we're going to go ahead and pack these up to save us a little bit of weight. And I will continue. Now, one of the weird things I remember from this lap last episode was just the freaking like pancakes and stuff in the display case. I was I remember thinking like, well, who does that really? Who does that? Nobody. All right. Uh, so all these buildings should be pretty fresh. There really should not be anything taken from them. We should have a lot of food coming out of here. Um, we did get a box of nails last episode, if I remember correctly. I just can't remember if it was before. Or after we came to this the shop, and after I looked at my bags, I'm pretty sure it was before, because we don't have it anymore. So unless the game bugged out, which is always a possibility, but I highly, highly, highly doubt it, uh, chances are it's back at the house. And I'm almost positive that's actually where it is, because we did... Alright, nothing here. Um, we did actually go back to the house before we went back into the city, now that I am thinking and remembering correctly as to what, what actually transpired last episode. Alright, so this particular... Shop is pretty much good. There was... Okay, there's a zombie. We're going to head into the Drake. The Drake is a place we have really not explored. Oh, I mean, we're getting frame drops because frickin' the city. Oh, she went down in one shot. That's awesome. There were some good tips, by the way, in last episode that I do want to address. So one person asked, Hey, Mathis, um, isn't it better if you hold the bat and equip it in both hands? Won't that do more damage? And the answer is yes, actually. Yes, it will do more damage. It's actually better to hold it in both hands if you're going to go out straight fighting. Um, the reason I don't hold it in both hands, personally, is because 99% of the time, if I'm going out, I'm going out to loot. And I want to make sure I prioritize looting over combat. So I want to have my bag on my secondary inventory to carry more stuff rather than my bat. The other thing that was brought up was, I didn't know this, and I'm going to try it as soon as I have the opportunity, is if I combine the bat and a leather grip, or rather, a, a belt, I can kind of give it a makeshift leather grip, which will give it more damage and be better off for me. Um, at least this was said in, in chat. I don't know if it's 100% factual. I will check once I have the opportunity to do so after we go back to our normal place. I want to keep an eye on everything over here. We are getting a whole bunch of food, so these two buildings were definitely worth it. And then everything over here. I don't know what these can hold. Now, this is a bar, but this is also... Yep, there we go. Um, I'm curious if this is going to be considered like a bar shelf, or if it's going to have its own shelf. Peanuts? Yes. That's bizarre. I wasn't sure if we were going to actually see foods and stuff on these shelves is what I meant. Or if we were going to get, like, tools and random things that you got on other shelves, like bookshelves and stuff. How about over here? More peanuts and a baseball bat and water. Okay, then. Lots of random stuff. Baseball bat's good. We'll definitely take that back. That's going to probably click us up to 1 to 7, but it didn't. And nothing really over here. All right. Another place done. I want to hit like this entire strip, so we're going to go down here and hit up the store. I think we've not hit the store up yet. Ooh, that door looks open. Looks like we have. Wait, did we hit the store last episode? Was this what we hit last episode? It might have been what the last episode visit. <coughs> I'm just trying to cover as much of the city as possible that I haven't been able to cover yet. Right, this all looks familiar. Pretty sure I've been in this place right here. Ooh, let's check out the Seahorse Coffee. Um, I don't think we've hit this coffee shop yet. And these buildings in general, I think we've not hit quite yet. Why am I stuck? Oh, okay, fence. Alright, let's see if we can get a door open first. 
His windows are busted wide open, but because... Oop. Alright. It does not look like we've actually been in here. Oh, fuck me sideways. And a thunderstorm. Alright, let's just make this quick. Desks are gonna be ignored. They do have the potential to hold things like chocolate bars. But I just don't even want to deal with it. I just want to grab what I can grab and leave. Building's big enough where we're gonna have a lot of maneuverability, of course, but... I just don't like being stuck in a building that is basically yelling, Hey! Hey! Hey, he's here! Hey! Whoa! Like so. Let's crack him. God damn, at least three. There's a mini fridge over there. Alright, back up, back up. Ooh, that's loud. I'm a little nervous. Okay, we gotta get the hell out of here. Alright, you know what? Just stay in there. And the thunder! Oh my god, it's stressing me out. The thunder and everything is just too much. Way too much stimulation right now. Holy crap, relax! Relax, thunderstorm! Chill your panties! Oh, there's so many zombies out there. There are so many effing zombies out there. Oh, man. Alright, um... Okay, I might be trapped. Ooh, man, I might be in a bad spot right now. Um, running up the stairs was probably a bad decision, in hindsight. Well, let's see if we can get the fuck out of here. Ooh, man. Um... Oh, Jesus H. Christ. Out this, out this right here. I don't want to go out the door, because there is... Potentially a god-awful amount. Look at them all. Oh, man. It's like the dinner bell got rang. Because it kind of did. Gotta get out. Gotta get out. Gotta get out. Gotta get out. Fuck, man. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Alright, we're good. We're, we should be alright. I've been in here. I'm just kind of running around now. Kind of, not aimlessly, but just kind of erratically to kind of break line of sight with them. To be able to avoid them and not really have to have them chasing me around. Have I been in here? Alright, let's, um, let's get inside. Sorry I'm staying kind of quiet, too. I'm trying to listen in a little bit. Not only that, it has been a bonkers day. I did my normal stream today, as well as doing, uh, you know, my normal recording today. And I also did some, uh, a streaming with Ohmwrecker, Mangaminx, and, um, DLive was also somebody that I was uh, streaming with, and Chrism Pro was there. A lot of, lot of stuff going on today. So I ended up, I was very, very busy. So I'm a little bit tired. More tired than usual, anyway. I don't... Are you fucking kidding me, man? Like, the fact that there's an alarm going off here is just fucking salt in the wounds at this point. Fuck. Look at them all. Look at them all! Alright, yeah, whatever. Just ignore them. There's no door over here? Oh, it's on the other side. Shit. I seem to go out. See you later. I should hopefully be okay over here. Is Are they banging on the windows over here? A little bit. Not much. Oh my god. Did we find the fucking... Uh, we did. We found the, the goddamn workshop. Oh my god. There's axes and everything. Holy shit. This is everything I've ever wanted and more. I just grabbed two boxes of nails! And there's another one right here! Oh. Oh, I gotta come back. Four boxes of fucking nails? Are you kidding? Oh my god, I have more nails than I know what to do with. Construction can happen. And it might never end. We might be able to do all kinds of good stuff. Oh, another box of nails. Alright. I'm gonna need to fucking... Whoa. I'll have to come back. I'm gonna have to come back. Can I just shut this door? Please, no zombies out here. Oh! Alright. We're gonna have to come back. We truly, truly are. Alright, see you later. Holy crap! We gotta get out of here. I've gotta get out of here. I've gotta go. I gotta not let the fucking greed get to me. I'm sitting here thinking of all the things I could get. 
I even debated even running around in circles, like, as zombies were piling in to try and grab as much as possible, but I have so many nails right now, it's not worth losing at all. I have three boxes of nails here, and... Uh, five here. I almost have a thousand nails. That is fucking great. Oh my god, that's so, 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 so good. Let us go. Let's go. Be free, young Mathis. Be free, little one. Get back to your safe house. Make sure everything is safe. Just be safe. Oh, man. That is excellent. That's got to be the warehouse a couple of you were talking about. You told you know, I've been constantly being told, just go to the warehouse, Mathis. There's all kinds of stuff there. Just go to the warehouse. It's, you know, it's to yourself or whatever. And I was just like, well, I don't know what they're talking about. And there's no obvious sign showing that there's a warehouse there, so I kind of had to stumble upon it, I guess, in my own my own time. But I did it. I did it, I did it, and I'm out of the city. Not necessarily home free, but in, all, in, a, in pretty fine fucking condition, if I do say so myself. Uh, Health-wise, we're totally okay as well. Gonna keep on sprinting, gonna keep pumping up that sprinting skill as much as possible. Well, I don't know if I gain any if I keep, if I try to jog while exertion. Because I've noticed that this is not going up that much while I'm, uh, while this is in exertion mode, so maybe I should wait and do it while I'm running normally. Alright, always take the long route home, always take it home. Lead the zombies astray if they end up showing up. Oh, we're home. Well, at least we're at a home. Um, I don't know if I want to leave all of the nails here, or if I want to take some home to my, my main safe house, which might be a good idea. Um... But for now, I'm going to leave them in the crate because I'm not done really kind of operating out of the safe house quite yet. In, in all honesty, this safe house might become my main safe house and the other one might become my secondary. Just because this is near everything that I need and want. So, I... Can you not, cat? Are you serious? God damn it. Um, but anyway, this is because this is near everything I, I need and use. So, we'll, uh, we'll pack everything up at the very least. Oh, what a crazy... Oh, the city, man. The city is so scary and so dangerous. I don't like being there. It's so tightly packed and condensed. I never feel like... I just never feel safe there. Which is, I guess, the point. You never really want to feel safe in the city, but... We also could go and use a lot of these nails to start working on the Twiggy's Bar thing, which... I think a lot of you want to see, so that might be something we end up doing. Alright, so it's late. Um, let's eat a little bit of dinner. We do have enough to do s to eat something right now. We can be a little bit more liberal with our food in our current situation, which is good. Uh, that's not the bed I want to sleep in, is it? It's this one. The walls by the windows and everything. All right, let's speed up time. We'll get our character to about 8 o'clock, as always. Yes, sleep. Good. Sorry, spraying my cat. He's being bad. He's uh, on uh, cats and boxes, man. I don't know what to tell you, but he's on top of the of one of the boxes we pack stuff in. And he's just like trying to claw his way into it for some reason. He's such a brat. He is such a brat. I don't know if Mu maybe my other cat Munchkin's in there because she climbs in there too and she knows she's not supposed to. And if I didn't catch her because she's a little bit more sneaky than our current cat is, then maybe yeah, that's why he's trying to dig in. All right, we have a belt. Let's try this out. Let's try this crafting thing out. Um. There's no crafting window, though. That's a thing. There used to be a crafting window, but not anymore. I think you just right-click? I don't think I can actually do anything. Let's move this bat out here. Maybe it has to be 100%. Belt. No? Well, maybe I'm just being fooled. Maybe you're all lying to me. A bunch of liars. No, I can't do anything with it. I'm not sure. Hey, I'm doing it wrong. There's no more crafting window. Are you serious, cat? Are you serious? You're like towards the end of the stream in, in this stream. This recording, and you're just gonna be a brat for no reason. He's always good when I record too. Always. Well, obviously not always, but most of the time he's good when I record. Oh, I forgot to put some of this stuff away. Let's put this water away first. Empty out our bag. Is it? Oh, cause it's fucking full. Oh, hot diggity damn. We now need to start mm, using this one. Alright. Well, that's fine. We'll put this in here. Take all of this out. 
Start doing a little bit of moving around. It's all in alphabetical order, pretty sure. There we go. Do we have any more food in here that we need to drop off? Doesn't look like it. The water bottle can go in here, though. In the fridge with all the rest of the water. Uh, and we'll go move this stuff, I guess, over into this closet thing that we don't really need. So we'll just start kind of piling all this stuff. Actually, we're going to put the... We'll put the medicine where it actually belongs. Oh, damn it. There we go. All right, so we'll put all this in here. A little bit of organization, keeping things organized in the house. Gotta love it. Um, you know, while we're here, too, let's do a little bit more actual actual construction, too. Let's go ahead and pile these away, though. Boom, boom. Let's go back out here, grab these trash bags, and do a bit of building. Just a bit. We need to grab the hammer and the saw, pretty much everything that we usually need. We'll grab half, and then a hammer, and the saw. Wow, it's been a rainy few days in game here. Let's go over here, grab a log. We're going to build another water catcher, essentially. If we're going to make this a bit more permanent, we want to have as much as possible. Um, wooden frame. Is it under furniture? No. Oh, yeah, it is. Rain collector barrel. Four planks. So we need one more. We're going to need to grab one more log. Go. Saw these suckers up. Can we? No? We're just not going to grab it? What happened? Why did, we, uh, why did I lose it? All right. Saw these up. And then go build one. Awesome. And then we could board up, I think, a couple of extra windows with some more stuff. Because we could have two extra planks. Though, I don't know if I want to board them or if I just want to use them to plop down tiles. Let's board up some windows. Let's play it safe. Let's not be silly. So let's go ahead and do this. No, we're not. There we go. Build. Build. Come on. What is happening? There we go. Furniture. Rain collector barrel. I need four nails. I thought I grabbed. F I thought I grabbed half the nails. Did I put them in a bag? Oh, I put them in this dumb bag. Furniture. Rain collector barrel. Oh, it doesn't fit. Oh, it fits there. I had to rotate it. That's weird. Yeah. Now we can go ahead and uh, barricade up some windows. Let's go ahead and barricade this one up one more time. As we re-equip everything. We'll barricade this one by one more. Always good to have it as, as safe as possible. Barricade. Oops. Messed up. There we go. Put our bat back on uh, our primary. Re-equip our secondary bag. And let's go grab some food. Character's getting a little bit on the hungry side. Okay, good. More beef jerky. We might as well go through the beef jerky. We have 10 cheese sandwiches too, though. That could be really useful. So the next thing I'm going to want to do as far as construction is concerned is possibly go to Twiggy's, I guess. Twiggy sounds like the most... I don't want to say feasible, but the most wanted thing. So I think we're going to wrap this episode up here because there's not much I could do within a minute here. Um, what we'll do next episode is start the Twiggy adventure, I think. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you watched, as always, hit the like button and drop a comment below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to join the, uh, the members of the Horde or the, the Survivors. Wow, as I stumble over my words there. And claim your allegiance below. And as always, I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.